Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of psychological skills training. We will help you understand the three stages of psychological skills training, cognitive and somatic techniques, and how to implement goal setting. Let's get started. Psychological skills training, or PST, are a range of skills used to improve performance and maximize athlete competency. There are three stages of PST. The education phase is the acknowledgement of issues and recognition that PST can help. The acquisition phase is the learning of strategies and techniques to address the problem. And the practice phase is the creation of new autonomous skills that are integrated into performance situations. There are a number of techniques that can be used to manage stress, anxiety and confidence. Cognitive techniques include imagery or visualisation, which looks at creating mental images to escape the immediate effects of stress or to recall a positive past situation. It may be first person or internal imagery or third person or external imagery such as watching a video clip. Positive self-talk, which involves developing positive thoughts about your actions and performance. The aim is to eradicate any negative thoughts and replace them with a positive statement. Attention control looks at changing focus of attention to detect relevant cues only. Broad, external are used during games to detect fast changing situations and identify the best option. External narrow are used to concentrate on specific objects or tasks, possibly with a limited number of cues. Narrow internal are used to mentally rehearse a skill or task. And internal broad are used to analyse performance and plan future tactics. Somatic techniques include progressive muscular relaxation, which is learning to be aware of tension present in the muscles and removing it through relaxation, often combined with breathing control. Breathing control or centering focuses on maintaining a steady breathing rate to redirect attention and reduce stress. Goal setting is also an effective PST tool and can affect performance by directing attention, increasing motivation and developing self-confidence. There are different types of goals that can be set. Outcome goals are concerned with the end result such as win the league or win a cup. Performance goals are concerned with how good a performance was comparative to previous performance such as a personal best time. And process oriented goals, which are how you'll be successful, such as match plans. In order to make goal setting effective, there are recommended principles for goal setting, most commonly known as SMART goals. They must be specific to the aims and not too vague, measured and assessed in order to show progress, agreed between the performer and the coach, realistic and within the performer's capabilities and timed to determine short, medium and long-term goals. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.